Last year's team, we started out a little slow in league play, um, really getting some kids back off of injury, hadn't played in a few years. I thought um, they did a fantastic job of coming together as a group throughout the course of the season, gaining some confidence, um, sticking with things, getting some wins, and really ended the season on a really high note. Arthur Marrera and Janelle Jones and I have been here for the, the entire six years and really uh, Owen Brown who is now our uh, director of player development a new position for us he's been with us uh, most of that time too he started out as a practice player and then a mag manager and graduate manager and now he's um, full-time part of our staff so um, there's some great continuity there all really really good people um, super loyal super motivated to make this a great experience for our players um, we added Tess and, and Derek are, are going to be really key additions to our program Tess played at Cal State LA for coach Jones she's a little bit closer in age to the players just got done playing professionally in Iceland she's great in small group and one-on-one -on -one skill sessions I think relates really well to the players and then Derek is is doing a fantastic job as kind of a combined video coordinator and director of ops position. He's, he wants to be a coach and he's really engaged with everything that we're doing. He's been a, a fantastic addition. Brought in three transfers. Um, Jasmine Gales from Northern Colorado, Kennedy Dickey from Eastern Washington. Deborah came in as a, a transfer as well. Unfortunately, had a, a season-ending injury early. We were anticipating she'd be able to kind of help us um, in the post-rotation. Yeah, I think Jasmine brings um, you know really good guard play. She's quick. She can create her own shot. She can get to the basket. She's tough to guard in transition. I think she'll fit really well in the system that we run. Kennedy Dickey, we're hoping, can come in and, and kind of make up some of that, that uh, gap that we have losing Lucy Hoskova. And then freshman Ayakita from Hungary, I think, is going to get some minutes as a backup point guard. Very athletic, really solid freshman post. We've got Claudia and uh, Lorena, uh, both international post players, 164, 165, so we add some size uh, that we hadn't had in the past. And, you know, again, they're, you know, the faster they can come along, the better we're going to be. And it's just kind of adapting to the American game and, and you know, everything's new for freshmen. So it's, it's, you know, challenging every day for them. They're learning new things and they're competing really well and really pleased with their progress. We've got a fantastic core returning. Obviously, everybody's uh, will be keyed on Iwana Kamili. She's one of the top three-point shooters in the country, one of the leading scorers in the league, um, best players in our league. Um, we also have, feel like we have really good pieces around her, so it's not a one-person show. We've got uh, Jess uh, playing at our point guard position, came in, uh, in midway through the season last year and really gave us a boost, and now she's had time to practice with the team, play half a season with the team. She makes us go, pushing the ball up the floor. Um, Amelie is one of the best defenders that that I've ever seen um, at this level for us. Uh, Lucia is a, a phenomenal passer. We wish she'd shoot the ball a little bit more, but she's one of the best passers, one really high IQ basketball player, kind of knows where everybody's supposed to be uh, on the floor and is like having a coach on the floor. Um, Abby Rathbun and, and Kia Valavirta are both two of our toughest players, you know, just physically and mentally. Tough kids always bring their get their best effort every single day. Mariana Clavina is um, she's our kind of our soul. Um, she brings great energy and great enthusiasm, and she's somebody every day that you can count on being genuinely happy for her teammates' success, whether she gets to play or not. They just we have great chemistry. They're kids that like each other. They get along with one another. Um, they play hard for each other and, and it's important to them to be accountable to, to one another and on the court and off. So it's a really, really fun group to coach. That's the best part of, of my job is the kind of people that I get to be around. You know, the faster our, tra our transfers and our freshmen can um, get into the mix and feel comfortable with what we're doing offensively and defensively, the better we're going to be. I know that's going to take some time and we need those guys to come along for us to be successful. Um, but in the meantime, you know, our, our returning players are going to have to shoulder a heavy load. We're going to have to make up for losing Lucy 
um, in that post position and her toughness around the rim. But I'm excited about this year. I think we have, I think we have the ability to be a, a top three team in our conference and, and compete for our conference championship, make it the NCAA tournament. But you know, there's a, a lot of a lot of days of work between now and, and when that is time for that opportunity in March. But you know, I think just enjoying the process along the way. Like I said, they're great kids. They have fun playing together. Um, I want to see them have great success, but mostly have fun and enjoy being in the moment with one another.